which is playing the swerve. Got to be careful if you put too much into this, the cue ball could follow into the pocket. Oh, good job there. situation Station hard for us to see from here but I don't know if he can play the blue two just off the right hand side of the pink ball and slot it in the middle maybe the pink's a little too high for that shot Fractional, wasn't it? Couldn't quite decide. That's why he took some time playing the shot. Eventually, he thought this was was on, but Carl Boys had his reservations, and he was right. You are desperate to take them. Oh, this is a good cue ball. Captured in all kinds of trouble. Maybe go three rails here, catch you. Try and come off the top rail and then into the purple. Goes without saying, this is just a case of hitting the ball. It's always a certain pace you feel like you've got to play it though. It's not too soft and it's not, you know, hitting it very hard. It's like a medium sort of hit. Step. Yeah, he's gone too Bow wide. Bow in hand. Wasn't easy. So Fayan didn't Start the clock, grab his first opportunity to clear, but I'm sure he'll seize upon this one. So Niels feels like he, he's guaranteed a hit. Now I'm not saying he should kick at this, but certainly a lot more kick shots over the years gold. seems to have vanished. I don't believe he's playing the jump bank. I think he's playing onto the left side of the pink four as we look. Get the cue ball in the cluster of balls and hope something good happens. Yeah, and, and it really happened good. Look at this. In one fell swoop, the whole table is opened. Not just the, the green six going in, but position on the four as well. And no real head scratcher going forward. Yeah. Seems to have his eye in on the break. He's made that one ball a few times now. Yeah, he's rolling the cue ball into the eight. Needs to hit a rail. Needs to hit a rail. Foul shot. Ball in wow. hand. What a mistake that is, Phil. <coughs> the referee, of course, alert as Foul ever. Shot, this is Lava Bosch all over. You have to hit a rail and. Of course, Fire did not. Didn't seem too concerned there, but when the two was going towards the cushion and he realised the pace was slowing down, then his expression changed. That could be a really pivotal moment. Well, that was even more extraordinary 
than Fion's mental error. Did not see that one coming at all. Even on route, I thought he was in, to be honest, but what a mistake. Well, Niels will be all over this. All the experience Niels has got, he knows this is going to hurt Eklund Katja. And now the foul on the two has been completely erased from the memory bank. In goes the nine, not cleanly, but it's in anyway. Eklund Katja missing an eight ball he wouldn't miss in a month of Sundays. And just like that, Niels Fyan leads by four acts to zero. This is breaking at the start of this match. Superb. Phil, the missed eight ball from catcher. He's been severely punished, and rightfully so. We always say, don't we, in commentary, the key is not to dwell, forget about it, all that kind of stuff. And it's true, but it's so much more difficult to actually dismiss something like that from your mind than say it. Speed there was good. Hasn't made a, a great amount of errors so far in fairness to Kachi, but he's being dominated and getting no quality table time. I don't know if he went for the combination then. If he did, if he'd have made it, he'd have been hooked himself. Jump combo for Kachi. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Good shot. That's what he needs. He needs something to get this match started for him. It's well controlled, there's another look. Oh, he's double hit it. Now it's his turn to kind of get away with it. He was trying to bank the four back up table to the other end. Maybe a cross Station bank for catch. He could, I think the cross bank into the right centre is definitely on. Also the cut down the rail is also on. That might not be a bad option looking at the overhead. Lay this ball down the long rail. We all kind of know if this is in or missed with this view. Good shot. And he's going to need a few more. He's got a lot of work to do in this match. That'll make him feel a lot better. Well, this is a chance. But it is not easy by any stretch. Queuing off the rail, there's distance. And the angle that the two's going in the pocket, it's got to go in the middle. Can't afford to cheat any of the rails from this angle. Just won't go in. But if he does pot it, the cue ball's going to come over for the three. Big moment here. Oh, catch it. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's woke up, Phil. Well, that was impressive, wasn't it? Tough queuing. High tariff shot. In without touching the sides. You can't get any more centre cut than that. Second semi final this afternoon coming up. At the conclusion of this one, the all Asian affair between Ko Pin Yi and James Aranas. Just flick the seven ball. 
Has the cue ball found cover? Oh, yes, it has. That is a favourable roll, Phil. Yeah, that's the diplomatic way to put it. Lucky so-and-so. Because look where the cue ball was. Had the one gone past the seven into the pocket. Nowhere on the two. That was terrific. The close proximity of the seven to the one meant accuracy was at a premium there. Yeah, it wasn't a natural angle. He had to draw the cue ball off the rail to find that path. This is not easy. These are nasty shots down that rail. Often you just catch the point on the middle. It doesn't even look like it's there. Oh, this is a good sign for Captain's warming up. Now, he's not managed to find this one ball yet, but he's made a random ball. Let's see if he can get this aiming point correct this time. Nope, still a little bit. Oh, the one ball was going, wasn't it? Is the four ball going to go? <coughs> oh, he stayed over the hole. Neil's fine will love this. Excellent catch. He seemed reluctant to go back to his chair, but he had to. Yeah, Catch will be disappointed, but he knows he's not quite hitting the break how he wants yet. Because it is a skill to keep putting the one. So whenever you miss it, you know, you've got you've only got yourself to blame, but what he's gotta do is he's gotta sit in his chair and realise that at least he's back in this match. Because at one point, well, it was looking dreadful out there for him. That was a nice flick. Maybe that's a little steeper than first thought, though. It does pass into the corner of the two ball. Half a century of balls posted with a two time former champ. The three ball is the next ball after this one. It's just behind the blue two. So if he's got a lot of angle, he may, may try and get across the face of this to play a combo. He may also have a carom. Yeah, it's the carom. Oh, he's missed a two. He's missed a two ball. He was playing for the carom. And he's completely took his eye off the pot. Now, this is... We talk about the eight ball, Phil. This is another big... I'll tell you what I've noticed in all with these pool tables. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you've noticed this, Phil. Some of the balls, when they go down the short rail and they glance the, the rail, they never seem to fall, but they fall on the long rail. Well, 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 what a game, man, boys. Such an exciting game to watch, it really is. He's found the one ball. Almost psychedelic. Well, when it's all said and done, Phil, he's done very well to stay in this match. After missing that eight, he will have been so disappointed. the boot on the other foot here because in his quarterfinal against Mario He Kachi led 5-1 trailed 9-7 can good in the end yep she 
is ideal. This is absolutely ideal. Just this nine ball to tie the match up. Who would have thought this when Neil's fine raced, sprinted into that 6-0 lead? Now there's nothing to choose between them, apart from the fact in rack 13, coming up after the break, Eklund Kachi will break. confident he's feeling. He's going straight in with a jump shot. He's got to get round the table for the three as well. This is not so sure. Oh, that's a Brucey. He snuck past the five. That little nudge has made him get a shot on this three. What's the flick here? If he hits it full, he's probably going to be hooked behind the sixth ball. Oh, and Jason Shaw have got history and all. They always produce close, epic matches, but fortunately this time for Jason wasn't to be. Catch it to break. Leading 7-6. It's a golden. Oh, my word. The first golden of the semi-finals. What a time as the arena goes gold. 14th of the tournament, that. We'd almost forgotten about the Golden Breaks, which have been such a, an integral part of the storyline here. For Eklund Kachi, though, that could not have come at a, a much better time. The best time, of course, is when you're on the hill to complete victory. The seven just coaxing it in. Yeah, look at the seven ball here from nowhere and flicks the top side for a Golden Break. the safety now's the pace he needs to slow down he needs to slow down he's trying to use the six well i think enough of it has sneaked out yeah he, he doesn't have to play this into the pocket he can just play it into the left rail he doesn't want to hit it too hard this is a chance though got to play this into the rail Just caught the eight. So, Eklund Katz, he's won nine racks on the spin. He's had two chances in this rack, Phil. Neil Sfyan will be breathing a, an immense sigh of relief. Yep, it's awkward, this. And the pink four ball is also awkward. That's the worst spot on a pool table for one of the balls to land. Cut it. Oh, and it's disaster. Not only is he fouled, he's moved the pink four away from a horrible spot. That is the worst case scenario. Have a look what the cue ball does here. Upon scratching, it flicks the pink four. Put it this way, Cole. If you'd said to either player before that shot, what's the worst thing that could happen? Well, that's it. Radically so. I think Desislava Boshilova was bang on there. Cue ball. Well, he's still alive. He's more than still alive in this match. This is still 10-7. If he can win the rack here, 10-8. Well, the spiciness of that, of course, is if he does win the rack, he gets to break next. Will he obey Desislava's orders? Well, I would think that would be the smart move. I wouldn't want to disobey Desi. She's a very scary referee.
Safety shot is the order of the day for catch it. Well, this has gone wrong. This has gone wrong. He was trying to roll it into the six ball. He's actually left a pot here for Niels. Can he get on the blue two? And avoid the cue ball kissing into the green ball. I think this is a shot over the years where it may be one of Niels' weakness, this type of shot. Oh, but he's passed the test with flying course as he rolls it into the middle of the pocket. The best tournaments are the ones where the most memorable matches come late. I think it will cut. Controlling the rock is brutal. So he's gone into the purple. What a shot he's played there. What a shot he has played there. Stretching over like that, you thought, is alignment going to be compromised? Absolutely not. Just looking at Niels's face, because that often tells you a story. He doesn't look mega disappointed, so the eight must all pop. This ball and miss the cue ball hitting the nine. If he flicks the nine, nine might roll up the rail a little bit and leave him no shot. Oh, he's okay, he could spin it in. Well, so this has been an absolute classic. And if ever a match has deserved a hill hill, it is this one. Back from the brink. There's been one golden break in this match and it come from Eklund Catcher. It's dry. The one hit the top jaw. And it's come back out into the centre of the table, isn't it? Look, look at the one, just a little high this time. Well, Catchy, can you hold yourself together? Can you try and clear the final rack? All he's got to do is back himself to pot it, come round for the five in the same bag. Yep, it's there. How's the pace? Pace is good. What an advert for nine ball pool. Yep, this is the game. This is the game we all love. As you said, Phil, what an advert. This is what you can see on a pool table. Doesn't always go this way. Sometimes we have a real kind of dogfight on our hands, but this, both players. The old cliche. It's a shame there has to be a loser, but this really is that case. The writing on the wall in more ways than one. Is this shy of pace? Is this shy of pace a little bit? Hmm. He's okay. He may would have would have preferred it a little higher, 
just so he could stun the seven in and play the eight in the top right. Now he's got to come back across and play the eight ball in the top left. One good shot here, and he threw to the final. Yep. Needs to slow down a bit. Is a hair bouncy? In rack four, he missed an eight ball that was easier than this. He's a tall fella. He's okay. I wonder if he's going to play for the nine in the same bag or can he just cinch this in and play for the nine in the middle? He must have, well, all said and done. This has been fabulous for It really has. I agree with you. The best match of the year so far. First in the quarterfinals, now to reach the final. Eklund Kachi comes through a nail biter by 11 racks to 10. some speed maybe gets into a piece of the seven and he could never slow it down he needed some contact there what was that expression you used got some vinegar yeah well it's just uh full of vinegar you know the young guys that's just uh, i guess an american saying i'm not sure really where it came from but Oh, I like that one. I'll be stealing that for future use. Okay, a little kick shot. He would like to edge this, I think, and run the ball. Or he's just going to take a chance of getting a little fortunate. He may have. Sometimes when you don't like a kick shot, you know, kind of rolling the dice is your best option. Cross side by the eight. He's going to play the blue two in the upper right. Man, that overhead tells me the, the bank shot on the pink four really not on. So he must have a combination that's playable here. Now this type of combination. By extension, please. You don't want to apply any side spin here. A lot of times when you cut a ball, you use a little outside spin. Here it would be left spin to enhance the cut or, or make the cut happen. But when you're playing this type of combination, when they're close together, the nine a lot of times will hit the bottom rail if you apply side spin. So you want to stay on the vertical, just straight up and down with the cue ball. And he's hitting a little left. I can see it. So good chance the nine hits the bottom rail. Yeah, he made it, though. Quick kill in the second rack. He's applying the early pressure here to James Aranis. Now, this is a big, big shot for James, in my opinion. It's got some distance. It requires a stroke, whether you're going forward or backwards with the cue ball. This purple five could go a long ways. Well, early signs of anxiety from both players. We saw it in Coe's reaction to his previous shot, and then in that shot itself from Moranis, some way out. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's going to do here. This is a very difficult little situation. And what happens? A lot of people would say, well, he aimed wrong. Well, you just don't think that about the pros. They don't aim wrong. It's just, you know, when you don't have that release of the cue, the timing's off a little bit. That's what causes those those big misses. I'd like to know what Co was trying there, to be honest with you. He gets out.
tricky shot here. He's going to play it to what we call blind pocket, the upper right. He's going to go with a high ball, three rails. You can see now once he starts to settle in a little bit, really nice flow and stroke. Grant gets a lot out of the ball. It's just been a little out of line on every shot. Should be able to kick this and get the five to the top rail, the purple five. It's close enough to it to really gauge the accuracy on the hit. Little draw stroke and the speed should be okay. Did hold the ball. He's going to leave a tough one, long one. I've ever seen I think with the long shot when it's a full hit a lot of players would actually like to have more of that little cut on the ball it's just it gives you a little more reference right and the cue ball moves easier A lot of players. It's pretty pretty sweet to me though. Definitely like the tension, the suspense. Now that's a prime example. Co very, very good with the jump cue, but in my opinion definitely overhit that a little bit. It wasn't hard to get over the two and he was very straight. So lost a little accuracy. Opener on the one gets even tougher here on the two. Rose ball trying to come backwards with the cue ball seems to want to pull the two off the rail just a bit more. If he could get back into the eight, that would be pretty good. Oh, get that sweet <laughs> speed is off, and now the eight could be a tough one. Like here, see how the eight, we're going to be way over here with the cue ball now. Now the eight's a lot more of a tester because of the shot on the green six. Pressure on any shot has intensified when you know really you shouldn't have put yourself in that position. But he's come through those two tests there. And it all culminates in a routine nine ball. With which James Aronas levels again. He's got a little to the left side of the cue ball, but of course it, he's got enough of the left side, but shooting beside the ball can sometimes be just as awkward Extension, as shooting over the ball, and he's a bit of both. Now the tendency when you're beside the ball and you have to put left English like this is to push the cue ball a little bit and you tend to hit this two ball a little thick. Nice. He's feeling better, Michael. I was gonna say, do you think he's settled in now? And this is an ideal rack if he can finish it out from here. Very quick kill. Well, you know, he's a great player, right? And it'd be hard to hard to figure he hasn't learned from his nerves the first two days. And and uh, that's a big part of it. I 
commented earlier that Niels is such a veteran. You know, he, he kind of knows how to play when he's a little overly nervous as well. Uh-oh. That in rail boinged a little bit. Going to get a little thinner on the nine, but should be okay. I guess we can say he's now averaged one ball on the break per rack. Made up a lot of lost ground in that statistical department with one shot. I wonder if the corner pocket, it looks like he should be okay coming two rails. think he's too unhappy the way he struck it just a missed shot was it easy and it's a mangle I'm very shocked that he stunned the ball there because you don't have to get back for the eight you can play the eight from this side of the table as long as you're across. I thought he would just hit a high ball there on the green six, get to the middle of the table, take a little cut shot on the seven, knowing the eight's not that hard. Now he's got to let the stroke out. Extension, please. It, trying to get a little something out of the cue ball. And Co has just let a few situations get away. And, whew, is he going to cut this in the upper left, Michael? Wow. Wow. Looks extremely tough. Yes. Normally edge on edge. You don't want to spin this one in. From that angle, you think that's not even possible. But it was. It's falling apart before our eyes. And all of a sudden, Zelensky won four in a row, including a couple of golden breaks. Aranas led again at 10 9. Went hill hill. Got over the line 11 10. But back in the present day, he's passed up another opportunity. Yeah, it wasn't the clean strike on the cue ball we've been seeing here so far for James. The one did go on the side, but you can just see the, the brakes haven't been anything consistent. Even there with the one on the side, not a lot of opening of the rack. Wow. Again, how good is that? A froze ball coming backwards from distance. You know how clean that has to be struck? Ooh. Now he's going to try and go for a cross side bank on the pink four. The cue ball should swing a couple rails towards the nine. Main thing here is don't overhit it. Don't let the start ball start to get in the air. Really starting to look like a player who fancies the job here. Yeah, interesting here. He can't go forward too much unless he decides to go past the nine. Oh, he's going to play safe. Wow. I thought he'd take that on. 
Michael. I mean, position was going to be a little funny, I think, but James has got to love this, though, to be able to get back to the table, even if he is snookered. Foul stroke, no contact, ball in hand. Not loving it now, though. I'm really coping ye has got to take this chance. All right, he can just come across off the yellow one above the blue two. The real difficulty is going to be getting from that blue two to the red three, a little covered up by the green six. The extension, please. There's a little gap over here by that left side pocket to get uh, between the green six and the nine ball. And it looks like he has the proper angle, a comfortable angle to hit a small gap. Well, he decided to come across and certainly can't blame him there. And again, JJ, he's just shrugging off everything that happens in the match. You look back at the previous rack, he had all that momentum, had a chance to go 9-6, missed that two unexpectedly along the side, but it's like it never happened. Well, that's a big component or, or part of the recipe to get through, you know, high nerves and intense situations. Hasn't put that much together back to back. He's cleaned up a few racks, but not our typical co. Yeah, I think you've got it spot on. Even when at times the winning of racks pointed to him having the momentum, you never felt as you were watching those racks that he had established much rhythm. Yeah, and, you know, we all watch the players, of course. They're, they all have great personalities, some characters, and maybe shown a few more kind of different faces than I've ever seen from Poe in, in just one match, right? Great shot there, and really nice to hold the cue ball in position for the red three. Still a lot of work. He's changed sides a couple of times. I think it's more about really the speed of the break. Definitely put more into it. Oh, oh there. and that's his reward. Oh, Our first golden break of the match. And with that, Copin Yi, having trailed 9-7 just a few minutes ago, has now made it 9 all. Well, tell us about this, JJ, the golden break. Kicked into the side. 15 now, I believe that is, for the tournament. And that's a, a sign of a champion right there. You know, you gotta you got to just go with what you see, even though you've missed some balls doing that through the through the contest you just got to keep at it yeah, a little light of his mark he's you know in a great situation but normal times he'd be a little upset about that but feeling good 
He had the early combo in rack two, obviously the golden break in the rack before this one. And this is only the second time he's done it like this from the break and run through them all. And by doing that, somehow he's first to the hill. Go ahead and do it himself instead of depending on the safety. So we cut it. He's going to get a big roll. Very big one. James, though, again, he's got to feel good to get at the table, though. And this is the type of kick. It's just one rail off the right side rail. This is the type of kick shot. When they hit it, they make it a little more often than you would suspect. The extension, please. Yeah, the last time Aranis was at the table, he was leading 9-7. Yeah, and this is the type of kick shot to where you want to put more speed. Maybe you get lucky, but you can lose accuracy that way. So I think it's about medium. High English, maybe a hair of left spin. Could fit a playing card between that cue ball and two ball. It's out of his hands now. Watch outside pocket. Wow. It's never easy. The first game and the last, they say. And now he can't really level out so easily unless he wants to apply some side spin, whether that be a bit of right or left, to come inside the purple five or around it. Doesn't want to go natural and just run into the purple five. Oh, what a confident stroke at a big moment. It's a sign of a true champion there, Michael, applying that inside spin with so much speed coming up and down the table in such a big moment as well. And if he pots these next five balls, he'll be one match away from becoming the champion here in Brentwood. <coughs> There's so much more to come from James Oranis. He's had a week to remember. He beat the best player in the world on his World Masters debut. Yeah, of course, always a fun player to watch, but you really got to appreciate the effort and the fight battling through everything he's done this week and everything he's dealt with. Yeah, for a long time this afternoon, it looked as though Oranis was going to reach the final at his first attempt. But let's shift the focus and the credit to Copen Yi. He was leading 6 4 in this match. He lost the next four racks. Later, he was two away from defeat at 9 7. The golden break nudged him along the way in his attempts to turn it round. in jubilant mood he's beaten James Aranis 11-9 and he'll be back here to play Eklund Kachi of Albania in the World Masters Final 